Relative Velocity 2018, Question 2, Part A. An aircraft travels a speed of 400 kilometers. In still air, the velocity of the plane relative to the wind. The aircraft sets out to fly from P to Q, where Q is north of P. Okay, so we have an aircraft. It wants to go from here to here. And if it goes in a straight line, from Q to P, the wind is going to take it in whatever direction the wind is going, relatively speaking. And the wind in this case, 60 kilometers an hour from the northeast. So we could put the north, we could put the wind going through P or Q. I put it going through P here. So this is the velocity of my wind. Now, this is the velocity of my plane. The velocity of my wind along here is equal to 60 and the velocity of the plane relative to the wind and I think this is similar to the, the 2019 question along here is 400 and because they tell us it's coming from the northeast we have an angle here that we can put inside the triangle so here's my I axis going in this direction 45 will be that one so this has to be 90 so I have a 135 angle inside the triangle and I have velocities outside. So if I just take my triangle again, I can put the velocity of the plane as a V. If the wind is 60, the plane relative to the wind is 400. So from having this much information, like 2019, I can calculate whatever I need. Because the wind is coming down in this direction, the plane is going to need to set out this way. So we're looking for this angle in here. We'll call it the angle A. So we say 60 over sine A is equal to 400 over sine 135. So 60 sine 135 is equal to 400 sine A. So we'll leave the sine A there, divide by your 400. We get sine A to be 0 0.1061, making this quite a small angle. A is equal to 6.09 degrees to two decimal places. Okay, this direction is, well, there's my angle. So I'm dealing with east of north. So east of north, 6.09 degrees. Part two, how far is the aircraft from P after 20 minutes? So the aircraft is going in this direction. It's being slowed down by the wind, but because it's at an angle, it's staying in a straight line. So we need to get the velocity of the plane here. And we have all the variables here. So we have, we could say, we can get this angle up here, B. That's the one that's opposite V. Let's do that first. B is equal to 180 minus 135 minus 6.09, which is 45 minus 6.09, which is 39, 38.91 degrees. So we can keep this and we'll use the same diagram. So we have we have V over the sine of the angle opposite, which we've just gotten 38.91 is equal to 400 over sine 135 or 60 over sine A if you want to use that one. So 400 sine 38.91 is equal to V sine 135. So leave your V, your sine 135. So this gives the speeds, the speed of velocity plane of kilometers an hour, 355.31. So it's 400 max speed. It is being slowed down, relatively speaking, by about 45 kilometers an hour. And how far will it be from Q? What did they ask us here? How far will it be from Q after? 20 minutes well that will be an hour so i'm going to divide that by i'll use this line as a division line we're going to divide that not by 20 20 minutes which is a third of an hour so i'm going to divide by three that'll give me one one eight point four four kilometers from p after 20 minutes